Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Ghost Prime, and I want to take a look at the Collector's Edition eHobby Overcharge. This is a figure that was released in 2005 and is a repaint of the Generation 1 Blitzwing. I picked him up at TFCon, and I did not get overcharged for him. Uh, I got him for a really good price, actually. Uh, he is missing the bio card, so that's the only thing he's missing, and it was open. But it is, I love this figure. So it's a it's a repaint of Generation 1 Blitzwing into the Diaclone colors of the original Blitzwing toy. So it's kind of a reverse recolor, in a way. Uh, it's it's I don't know. It's really cool. It's what I've been wanting for a long time. I really love the fact that the tank is green and the jet is white. Two completely separate colors. Where Blitzwing is sort of tan in both modes, I think this is really cool that they have these colors. And that's just one I've been wanting for a, a long, long time. Now, they call them overcharged because in the story, I guess, they, they're they mass-produced and they're sold to the highest bidder, basically. they're they're You get overcharged for them. Um, and there's actually a scene that's sort of like, oh, well, we had a bunch. If you look in the season three, I think it is, opening for Transformers, you'll see a row of Blitzwings. It's kind of said that they're overcharges. Um, I think that's a stretch. I don't know if that was the original intention, but maybe just an animation error. But that's what's said now on TF Wiki, at least. Uh, but he's pretty much exactly the same as Blitzwing. It is a Japanese release, so the missiles should fire. I, they're still in the sprues, as you can see, so I, I don't I haven't tested that. Maybe I could test that with the original if they fit. Anyway, please relax. And uh, without any further ado, let's get to the review. And as we do, we check out the box first. Here he is in the package. You get the Transformers logo up there. Typical e-hobby. Since he's sort of Decepticon-like, he is done in a purple box. All purple. And it says, the world transform, where things are not as they seem, is the world of Transformers, a world of heroic Cybertrons and evil Destrons, the names for Autobots and Decepticons in Japan. Because this is a Japanese edition. Now, this, the card would go normally right here. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get one, uh, being how these, these are just stupid expensive. Uh, Transformers logo on the side. Your standard image on the back. Japanese text. There we go. Now, if we open this up, since it, I did buy this open, and let's see, pull this out without ripping anything. Read it with this, and we have the blister packaging, and we have instructions and stickers, which this has been opened. So we're going to go ahead and take it out and look at them. Uh, first things first, let's show you this. This is a bit different here. So we get a bunch of different factions. As I said, these were like, Mer like not Mercy, but they were, you're able to buy them and they could be any faction. So anybody could buy them and anybody could have them on their team. Autobots, Decepticons. Uh, these are the Quintesson logos here. Uh, what are these? The Ancients, the EDC or the Earth Defense. Was it Earth Defense Force or something like that? Not Force, but... Command, I don't remember what it was called. I think those started with Vinyl Tech. And then the uh, the Unicron logos right there. So you have any one of these you want to put on there. And then it comes with the standard Blitzwing sort of images here or stickers. And here is a breakdown. There you are, Earth Defense Command. A breakdown of all the different logos. And the instructions on... How to transform. There are small instructions because this is a generation one. Where all the stickers go. Nothing on the back. I put the stickers away. Opening up the package here. You have a, a thing that keeps everything in. Three missiles. Still on the sprue, thankfully. He has his gun, which is the same as Blitzwings. Just done on a sort of a... It's an off-white. It's definitely a gray. You kind of see how colors, how the color looks. Let me get that out of there. Here is his sword, done in the same off-white. And comes in tank mode. Get real close up on him, because I, I love these colors. And this beautiful, bright gold chrome on the side. 
wonderful ref reflect reflective just gorgeous now the chart is facing the right way the cartoon they had it the wrong way towards the back this is the correct orientation for the turret same with blitzwing but man he looks good in this just really really looks good in this 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 these colors i absolutely really really love these colors i don't know if i'm gonna apply the stickers but i think he looks really really good here i right, to bring in comparisons we'll check out the generation one blitzwing so you can see the differences. Again, there's chrome here where this is just like a, a gray paint, I guess like a gray glossy paint. Uh, he does have a rub symbol in the same spot. You see the tops are all the same. And there he is on the side. And there's the back. But yeah, pretty much exactly the same. You're not getting anything different between these two besides color. So I'll get into, um, I'll get him transformed, and be right back. And there he is in jet mode, and it retains all the same same gimmicks as the original. What's very very cool about this, and I said it before, I love the colors. I love how the jet mode is different than the tank. I think the platinum versions are also. I don't have the platinum version of it, but I do intend to get it. Uh, just because it's it's brown and maroon, but still was sort of the same sort of thing, right? Here he is as compared to the original Blitzwing. Now, again, with transformation, you do got to be careful. See the nose cone there. Um, even though the original Blitzwing is blunted, this one's a little sharper, um, just because Japan. Uh, it will rub over time and get kind of a paint scratch. This one doesn't have any paint scratches. I intend to keep it that way. <laughs> So it won't be doing a lot of transformations, unfortunately. But as you see, all the metal parts are the same. It's just it's just a reissue. It just it's a direct reissue of the Japanese version. But you get the the metal pieces, all those the the launchers. Now the launchers were not actually firing on the original. Here's the original original missile, and the buttons right here. But see, they don't fire. They just friction in there so these ones see if they, i don't even know if these will fit these ones should yes they fire quite hard actually so if we do get one of these the japanese ones these would be really easy to lose but it is cool that they they do fire that's that's very cool and they also fit now transformation to robot mode um it's simple you know uh, I've already done it before. Let's do it here real quick. Make sure that does not hit there. All right here he is in robot mode. And getting up close on the paintwork on the face. See, it's the same as Blitzwing. He's got this nice metallic sort of helmet on. Green and white both show up in almost equal measure. Got black legs there. The feet, which are the rudders or, or the tail, is silver or a chromish metal. Again, same. Oh, the, the faction symbol, my fingers are cold right now, which I can't do, is a Decepticon logo. Um, and his, here's his weapon. So his weapons actually have defined hands to go in. They, I guess could technically could hold his gun upside down, but they just kind of go in on the side here. Being an old figure is kind of the way it, it, they designed it. So you can have his gun and his sword in his hands at the same time. And there he is. And let's just bring in the original for a comparison. There's the original. So as you see, not a lot different. Uh, this one doesn't have stickers on it either. Um, so they're pretty even. Actually, I need to find a, I want to find a actual vintage sticker sheet and use the stickers from that. Or this, I think that'd be a cool thing to do. I could do toy hacks, but I kind of want vintage because this is actually just a really nice specimen. But that's how they go. That's how they look together. And I really would like the Platinum Collection, the brown and maroon version. Eventually, I'll probably get that one too, just to have them, because I think they're they're fun. I love these Triple Changers. They're just an awesome. Blitzwing is fun. He's a little quirky bot. 
just a fun, fun figure. Although I did notice something. Look at his head there. Looks like the reissue here sits up higher. I wonder if that's like that for all the reissues. You see the, the screw hanging out there. Well, here you can't. That's pretty interesting. I didn't just notice that. And I don't think that this guy's been KO'd yet. Um, I'm not sure, not 100% on that. I'd have to look it up. Uh, so uh, I, I don't think there's, any, there's definitely no recolors like this. Uh, you'll see this one, either maybe a vintage KO might have these colors, or the Diaclone, or this E-Hobby. On to final thoughts. I'm ecstatic to have this guy in my collection. I have been wanting him for quite some time. I love the Diaclone colors on him. And he's a troop builder, but uh, yeah, I don't see myself troop building, even though I did get this guy for a really good price at TFCon. Now, if you are in the market for one of these, or more of these, they are very expensive on the secondary market. A little more so than I believe that should be paid for them, personally. It is a beautiful figure, though. Um, and if you are in the market, definitely hold out. You might actually be able to find one like I did for a really good price. Like I said, mine's only missing the card. It's not too big of a deal since all the stickers are unapplied and everything. And it's in perfect, pristine condition. So that's kind of what I was looking for. And, and I'm happy. I'm going to put it in my collection. But it will be the only one I have. Anyway. Uh, appreciate you sticking around till the end and uh, I'll see you in the next review.